mine. Welcome to the room. How will be I demo? Well, uh, I'm showing you a slicer and uh, there's a top three products in this hand. I'm going to show you how to create this top three products. And uh, if you notice that this is actually a a slide, a power slide, and this is a power bi. So how do I do that? Well, I actually uh, share it from my power bi services. I click on the export. I just power for power for it and embed it live data. So basically. It will be the same, right? So as you can see here, oh, this is the same. So you just refresh it. You refresh it. Oh, yeah. So you can see here, right? So it's not like you link here. There are many options here, I saw. However, my uh, my intention is to show you how to use the top three brands here. So, yeah. Oops, it doesn't have here. So, how do I get to here? Well, first of all, I publish it for my uh, Power BI desktop. So, how to publish it? I go home, I click on publish, and I publish it to my my workspace. So what I want to just test it out in my workspace, right? So this is, you don't need to pay for this. Uh, however, if you use um, other than my workspace, you need to uh, pay Microsoft. So let's look at this. How do I create the top three products? So uh, over here, I have five products. If I click on the customer, you can see here that um, I will change here and look at that. So um, first of all, it's sorted. To sort it, I can click on this here, to sort by, and click on this. So, well, let's look at how to create this top three product. So I don't want to see all the six of them. I just want to see top three product. To do that, I will select the measure. That's the first step. Then go to the filters pane here, right? If it's height, you can click on this. Then the next thing is that Look at this here, right? So at first, it will just choose a uh, black, right? So I just choose here, and I select top end. So I want to find top three. So I just look at top three, and you have also bottom three, right? So I just go for top top three. So top three based on what KPI? Well, it will be based on the total quantity sold. So right here, the top three will be red bean, donuts, and so I'm going to choose this item, select it, and drag it to the buy value right here. The next step is click on the apply filter. Look at that. Oh, we just completed how to select the top three brands. As you can see here, it's now changing, right? As, it's, as you can see, yeah, it's changing, right? So again, how do you select the top three product, right? Select this. Um, just basically drag the products and the total quantity sold and activate the filters area. Remember, you up activate the measures and choose top end, top three total quantity sold by value, and then click apply filter. And that is how you get it done. All right. So the next thing is that you can also put a color right here, right? So how do I put this color? So I go to the the tab, I choose a shape, choose a rectangle. Uh, let's say this is the one here, and um, I want to choose a color, right? Just, just right maybe somewhere here, and I'll go to styles here. Let's say I click on the this is just pink color, right? And then um, I'll go to the format and choose send backwards. Oops, does it work? Does it work? No, it doesn't work. Let's just go from here, format. Send to back. So 
Does he work? Does he work? Oh, yes, he works, he works, he works. So, um, as you can see here, it actually covers it, right? So, I can just choose this item. Um, this goes over, all right? So, the thing is that it's still not going that bad. So, let's say here, let's try again. It's going to be sent back. But I want to select this item and go to general, I choose the effect and uh, let's say uh, this item, I'll just go for 16 transparent, let's just see what happens. Okay, so there's an item there. Oh, let's just try that here. Alright, so let's go here. So, kind of black. Okay, so transparency. So uh, you should be finding out that more. So that's thing. Click on this here. You can change the color and so on, right? So there's a filter. If you don't need the color line, you can remove it. Look at that. All right. So I will leave it to you here. Right? You can see now I've changed the color, a background color, and a top tree. So once again, how do you select the tree water? Item, right? Select that. Select that table and look at uh, the filters top and top tree. Um, then just here, right? So this is how you shape. Once you've done this, right? You can click on the publish and publish save the work. Right? Publish it to my workspace. Click select. Yeah, replace it. Ah, oh yeah, ho. I need to password here. Uh, okay, so let's just watch for. All right, so as you can see, that it's now published to here, and um, this is all the value you show. And um, when I select this item, it has a top end. top three and you can see there's the other things you can choose from so the is less than well I can use space on this here so less than is greater than say eight thousand let's just see right right let's just move here and enter so what do you get oh this one fine ah look at that so that is this right so if you you can use this as well. No big deal. So you don't need to use it. Now next is that um, if you look at this here, uh, the power BI here when you have this, so you might just so uh, to export share the So I hope this is useful to you and in this lesson you just learned how to select the top view format and also add the shape to your canvas. Here and Facebook for focus. Thanks for watching.